Foods out of Underworld Extreme faced Spike 22 Ground Foods Mikey Titano. Both fighters came out looking to use their reach and keep the distance. Jones was able to secure an early takedown and work the ground in the first round to take a slight lead. It was pretty even in the second round as both fighters looked to get their second win. As the third round got underway, Tyrone Jones let his hands go after listening to instructions from his corner and earned the win by TKO. Shane Alvarez out of Trench Tech and Saipan had a dominant performance against Spike 22 ground food veteran Tony Rages. Alvarez caught Rages in the first round that buckled him but was unable to finish him off, sending the fight into the second round. Rages kept his composure and reversed the action late in the second and was able to get the mount as the round came to an end. In the third and final round, Shane Alvarez controlled the pace and stayed busy enough for the unanimous decision win. Josh Munya and Ryan Tovez made their PXC debut after earning their shot from the last Purple How event. The two fighters moved on after winning their fight in the lightweight tournament. Tovez, the much taller fighter, almost secured a submission attempt, but Munya fought his way out. Josh Munya showed his power with big takedowns throughout the fight. Munya was victorious after landing several unanswered staples for the TKO win. Helos Toby Mise continues to be a crowd favorite after putting his stand-up game to the test against Japanese shooto fighter Yasuki Yachi. Mise kept pressing forward, throwing leg kicks and stiff jabs. Yasuki Yachi was no slouch, staying in the pocket and exchanging with Mise through round one. Toby Mise saw an opening in the second round and capitalized on his opponent, knocking him out and putting the crowd on their feet as they cheered on. Fans were treated to a pure Muay Thai matchup as the Philippines' Robin Catalan and Thailand's Ramba Samdit squared off in the cage. Samdit, with over 100 Muay Thai fights under his belt, came in with so much confidence, the crowd fed off his energy. Samdit landed several vicious leg kicks before clinching up and taking Catalan to the ground. Robin Catalan didn't have an answer to Ramba's relentless attack and fell victim to the rear naked choke in round one. Saipan's Frank the Crank Camacho made his way back to the cage in stunning fashion, taking on master Japan fighter Koshi Matsumoto, who was undefeated in the PXC. Camacho was extremely strong at 155 pounds, stuffing every takedown attempt by the Japanese fighter. Koshi Matsumoto looked to wear down as the fight went on, wasting a lot of energy trying to take Frank down. Camacho softened up Matsumoto with a couple of jabs and then landed a solid right that put Matsumoto out for good, earning the knockout win in the third and final round. Josh Calvo picked up his second win of the PXC after taking all three rounds against fellow Islander Anthony Torres. Calvo had the superior stand-up game, picking his shots and opening a cut over Torres's left eye once he secured the takedown and worked the ground and pound. Anthony Torres looked to pull off a late submission attempt, but Calvo was able to posture up and avoid any trouble. Josh Calvo was the aggressor in all three rounds and earned the unanimous decision win. Hawaii's Kylan Curran and Japan's Emi Tomimatsu wowed the crowd with their stand-up exchanges. This was the second women's fight of the PXC. Curran coming off a win in her PXC 36 debut. Tomimatsu, a brown belt in jiu-jitsu, looked to keep the fight close and take it to the ground, but was unsuccessful in putting Curran on her back. Kylan secured a couple of judo throws that put Emmy on her back and picked up a couple of crucial points. After three rounds, Kylan Curran landed more of the effective shots and picked up the unanimous decision win. In the main event of PXC 38, Kyle Uggen and Hawaii's Russell Doan left everything they had in the cage. Uggen and Doan kept the first round standing and traded leg kicks and jabs throughout the round. As the round came to an end, Kyle Uggen secured a takedown that was good enough to steal the round. The second round was a close one as Doan was able to return the favor and take Kyle down and cut him on the side of his head after landing some shots. With a title shot on the line, both fighters came into the third round looking for the finish. Doan with the takedown midway through the round almost gets caught with the triangle attempt from Uggen. The crowd went crazy as Uggen locked his legs and looked to get the finish. With the sound of the bell ending the fight, it was the hometown favorite Kyle Uggen walking away with the split decision win.